Hey there, it's Sandy McAlpine with McAlpine team at Remax Executive, and I just wanted to touch on something super sensitive. I'm going to talk a little bit today about selling a home during a divorce. And although it's not ideal, I know that some people can't afford to keep the home that they want to when a divorce is involved and either party might separate or, you know, people have to move on and move out. So if this happens, you can totally have a confidential conversation with your real estate agent and go over the process and what steps need to happen in order to sell the home and each of you go on to buy another property or rent or whatever needs to happen. But generally, if you need a buy before your divorce is settled and in North Carolina and South Carolina, you need to be separated for 365 days in order to get a divorce. But if you need a buy before the divorce is finalized and you don't want your spouse having any uh, marital um, ownership of your future property, you probably do need to get a free trader agreement drawn up by an attorney. And you can call some attorneys and find out about how much that is. It's usually a few hundred dollars. But if you need to sell is what we're talking about today in order to sell a lot of times, you know, realtors like myself have come into this situation many, many times. I've had so many clients reach out and they're super embarrassed and they really don't want to put all of their personal lives on the table. But you really do need to let your realtor know what's going on. And we all need to be on the same page because they're in it to help you. And you need a realtor that's going to stay neutral because a lot of times this gets very emotional. This process can be emotional for both parties. Um, sometimes the spouse can make things a little bit difficult. Um, sometimes the other party doesn't always want the sale to go through or they don't want it to make it final. Um, or sometimes, you know, it just the money is most important to one party more than the other. And it gets really, really sticky. So it's important to have the right agent that can navigate this process between both spouses um, and just to make sure that everything goes smoothly and to also anticipate any issues. And so I've done this many times where I've had spouses separate. They're already living in different situations and I talk to them both. Um, they're the same client because they own the house together, but I have to talk to them both and let them know everything that's going on in the transaction and to help them come to an agreement together in order to proceed once we get their house under contract. And when we get to the attorney's office, the attorney or the title company can generally disperse the funds based on the seller's wishes. Um, so as long as you guys are in agreement, then the attorney can disperse the money or the proceeds if you're making money on your home um, and paying off the mortgage and getting that home out of both of your names. So if you have any more questions about this process, because it is really sensitive is a sensitive topic um, and you want a confidential interview just to discuss how it would look, you can always reach out to myself or my team and we can come by and talk to you and, and go over the process.